Hi, what's up, y'all? What's poppin' cracking it? Steve, about to react to this video about the voice for the people react this title. DDG confused after Quavo pressed him on Kai's in that stream. Quavo pushed him? What? What? What is going on? Is he... Was he sent by, by Holly? <laughs> Well, did the baby mama send him? Like, I hey, go handle that. You know, we don't know what her connections are. So maybe he mad about that child and he wants to get revenge. <laughs> he wants to get revenge for Holly, period. Uh, Yeah, let, let's see what happened though. Let's watch. So things got weird between DDG and Quavo on Kaisen and Stream. A lot of people felt like DDG should have punched Quavo in the face because he was doing way too much. Oh. Gang, 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 gang. I gotta go to the studio. Uh, wait, you're supposed to be in the studio? Yeah. Okay. One game of what? One game of Mafia. All right, come on. I love Mafia. Take... No, that shit might take a minute. <laughs> I ain't take... It might take a minute. It might take like 40 minutes. I'm trying to kill you. Nah, that's too long. Oh, it take 30. Come on. It take 20 minutes. I don't know. Oh, yeah, actually, it depends, it depends on... Mafia do not take 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, wait, how many words? You want to say that? What you want, Bucks? All right, cool. We good. 13. All right, we good? Come on. 13. No, like if you move, you feel the feeling. See, I got motion. They says they was trying to get Quavo to move because he was too close to Kaisenet, but DDG chose to move instead. Quavo throws shade at DDG for misunderstanding Kai's game. Everything, because if, if you mafia, if you mafia, and you move around the shoes and shit, and you be like, oh no, nah, he's mafia, so you need to know instantly. Because you point, you gotta point out like who you want to kill. So like, it's, it's always good to be like spaced out. Too close. Huh? Too close. You say you're too close. Why would I stand over there? I feel like people are you gonna stand if you're too close? Where you gonna go if you're too close? I'm trying to break it down. Yeah. Where you gonna yeah. go if you're too close? Yo, you guys get the game? He seems like he's high. Understands? Why are everybody yeah. coming to Kai shit high? Yeah, practice rounds always helpful, but like. I think people can actually do it. He's clearly high. Hey, he, he like my baby cuz, but that's shit playing. He look like my baby playing ball. I can show you a person you look just like. It's real. Let me see. Yeah, that's real. You want to see real? Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. Listen, if I say something, y'all got to listen to the narrator. So if I, if I so say, yo, I need an actual official accusation, if y'all just going just around accusing everybody, it's, it's not going to work. Like, he don't even want to play. Let's say if you ask me who this, is not a, this is not a nigga. Oh, that's uh, Playboy Max. Um... This is not a nigga that you play mafia with. Like, he doesn't even understand what's happening. He's out of it. He's high. He doesn't care. <laughs> he not even paying attention. Like, come on. In the room was thrown off by Quavo's actions. DDG definitely handled that situation maturely because if it was somebody else, that would have ended way differently. But a lot of people in the comments were saying that Quavo was drinking. And there has been rumors when Quavo started drinking, he started acting like a different person, allegedly. And that possibly could have been a case in this situation be because he was being aggressive to Drugs not only G, but to majority of the people in the room. And a lot no. of people was trying to play it off because they was on live stream. They didn't want things to turn left, but Quavo was really being aggressive. What? Nigga, tell him what you spent. Like, Quavo checking if Kai diamonds are real. Kai. Oh, period. Kai got 536. Oh, no. That's 200 or something. That's still a lot um, of the subscribers. Kai didn't want to tell the chat how much he spent on his chain. What Quavo doing to Gio? Who's I never say, I never say, I never say. I don't know. I just don't do it. I just never been, I just don't do it. It's only your third chain, nigga. Tell him what you're saying. I, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you. I muted real quick. I muted. He got me? He got me? Hey. I didn't even go. Oh, hey, you got yo, you got me. Please me. Please me. Shh. I ain't gonna lie, he just, he probably, he ain't make nine but five. Ten. You can't be mad for him making a 10. Because I would have told that nigga. I'd have got down to the It's a little bit of detail on it. That's why. I don't want to do it. Maybe he acting funny because he <laughs> he knows the whole situation with Offset. Because Offset kind of don't fuck with Kai as well from what I saw. Even though Offset is trying to deny it, the evidence shows that he felt some type of way 
when Kai gave his album a bad review. So maybe that's why Quavo is here being weird. But it's like, why go in the first place if that's the case? I don't know. I can't explain his behavior. It is weird. I don't want to do something. Y'all know it's like girls and shit jumping with dancing. It's like, oh, you jump like a fence. I said it's right. The whole time people have been jumping the fence trying to get over there. That's all y'all niggas trying to do. That's weird. We told him, man, told him, man, kill him. We, need to, we need to record that shit. Them folks jumping the fence. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with us. Anything pull up, I got shit. You know? Yeah. Remember we were talking about, about y'all said if you jump over the fence. He said security was outside. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait that's not Kevin. That's not Kevin. Okay. Kevin, you know, you know. Kevin, that's hey. not you. Kevin, that's not you. Kevin, that's not you. Kevin, that's not Kevin. You spoke to mom, Dukes. Don't do that. Kevin. Kevin? Hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got 100 in UK, huh? That's Wait, that's his IG, though. There's no way this nigga made his Twitch account. Kevin! You, remember, you finally made his You, you talk about T-Pain, cheap ass, <laughs> but you didn't get the five. <laughs> Kevin, if that's you, give the 100. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> you want to talk about T-Pain, cheap ass, that's but you didn't get the five. Yeah. Holly Belly did admit that she'll react when it came to DDG taking their son Halo on stream with Kai Sinet. Now, DDG also spoke out as well because a lot of people are still coming for Holly oh. saying that he should take her to court. Well, here's what he had to say. Oh. One thing I don't like when people do, I don't like when people hate on Holly. I don't care if people think she wrong or not or I think she wrong or right. Good for him. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. So when situations like this happen, I ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible. No, look at him being. Halo needs her, you know. I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. And Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like, Kaysen had also reacted to Holly Billy's recent tweet as well. Yesterday, maybe I did overreact. I shouldn't have brought it here. I know that Halo is always safe with his dad. I just don't like finding out what the rest of the world what my baby is doing. Thank you, Kyle, for the gifts for Halo. W. Halley! W. Halley. Halle Billy and DDG, I feel like it's just in a confusing space in their life. They're trying to figure out this co-parenting. They're trying to figure out their own relationship, whether they want to be together. Then they're in the spotlight trying to advance in their careers. And then you got Halle fans. They're probably telling her and people really... Oh, no, man. Okay, enough of that. Uh, yeah, good for DDG. You know, he spoke up about it, and he's like, nah, I don't condone y'all coming for her. That's still my baby mama, da-da-da. That, that's sweet, because she didn't do that for him. <laughs> you know, she, she didn't come out to support him publicly, you know, when he was getting dragged. But, you know, it seems like he is giving her grace, so that's sweet. Love that for them. Uh, this will pass. Nobody really cares about this. You know, she's getting dragged for a very short period of time. People are going to move on and move on with their lives. The internet is not a real place. <laughs> so even people who are upset that she's getting dragged or trying to come to her defense, nobody actually gives a fuck. We talk about 50 million things a week. This is just one of the topics. Nobody really actually cares. People are going to move on and talk about something else. They're going to forget about this. She drops a fire song. They're going to be singing it. People gonna move on with their lives. It's not that deep. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, th there's that. And I hope they both can understand that as well. I, I know that these celebrities get very caught up in, you know, backlash that they uh, face, but it's like they need to understand this is very short term and this is the internet. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. It's not that, anyway. Uh, I wish them all the best. And, and yeah, Quavo is weird. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.